wrong with me? No one talks to me and I don't understand their jokes. You tend to become that person who just kind of like gets excluded. I play with my sleeve and I feel alone, lonely. It's just super hard to make friends. Let's say you're trying to do a project and no one wants to be with you. My teacher pulls me aside during class and kids stare at me. I don't like it. I never really felt like I fit in with the rest of my class. Um, they always did activities and I always had to step out of the room. I don't like it. Words bubbling in my mouth but just won't come out. And I just looked at, it, at the teacher and I did not know what, like, I just know what she was saying and it was really scary. I'm afraid to ask questions. The teachers would assume I wasn't good at speaking English and this led to many unanswered questions and eventually I would start falling behind in class. I hear Miss Henry and another teacher talking about how the ESL program is being cut. Um, the special ed students get their own funding, but it's all, it's all been cut. The teachers get $200 a year to buy any material that they need. That's right. $4 a kid. Yeah. I mean, how much, how much can you buy? You can't even buy a notebook. At home online, I'm having trouble finding a time with Miss Henry, so I stay in class with the rest of my classmates. Things go too fast for me. Sitting behind a screen alone with this problem, I can't help but think that something is wrong with me. Am, Am I, I not, not enough? enough? understood the story of many underrepresented ESL students through visuals and real connections with real people. And that's exactly how everyone learns language best, through daily applications and visuals. And that is exactly what PictureBook does. PictureBook is a visual language learning tool integrated seamlessly into your virtual classroom to help early ESL students to learn English. Primary education is specifically important because most ESL students are in elementary school. To create the most impact, our target audience are K through grade 5 ESL students. Our solution can be divided into two parts. One, applied visual learning and support in the classroom. And two, independent personalized learning. PictureBook is a Chrome extension that modifies Google Meet's call through closed captions. These captions would translate text into images, and powerful image-to-text association helps ESL learners learn English better. I mean, you tell me, which one of these images would help you learn English better? Don't believe us? Research shows that an illustrated lecture increases recall by 55% compared to a spoken lecture. A core function within our product is that images can be filtered out, with the intention of A, not overwhelming the user with too many images going on, but also B, ensure that the user is understanding different parts of speech. For example, if you say, The dog ate my homework. The input is the dog ate my homework, and we added a filter for nouns. Hence, the only images that will show are words that are nouns, making output dog and homework show up as image translations. Filters can be changed to verbs, adverbs, adjectives, and more. And more than one can be selected. This encourages play-based learning within children to explore the different parts of speech. The second part of our solution includes an independent review time for the student. Class is just ended. I got reviewed. The review vocabulary is pulled from a database of all the words said during class. Uh, did you read any books lately, Elizabeth? Part of our second function pulls the words said in class into revision cue card material for the user. So, What's the English word for that? Book. Good. This is what we call task-based learning. This function is meant to be a personalized process where the students can go at their own pace, reviewing useful and applicable words. And in the future, we will build upon the student and teacher collaboration where the teachers can input words for the students to go over after class. Yeah. We're filling in a big gap in the market, untouched by big names like Rosetta and Duolingo. We offer real-time assistance, but we're more than just a translating app. We tailor our translating function with the intention of the student to actually learn the language. The vocabulary we ask students to review are based on words they commonly use every day. Duolingo's learning application requires willpower and discipline from the user to actually log on each day. That's why their reminders are so aggressive. Also, the content you're learning on Duolingo doesn't actually have a strong connection to real life. Whereas our app integrates seamlessly into daily activities, such as a classroom call. 
Let's dive into the technical side of this and give you a brief understanding of what we were able to build. We initialize a mutation observer object, which detects all the changes in the caption container of Google Meets. Every time a change is detected, that change is then translated into a word. And then each new word is passed into another function, which takes that word and displays it on the screen, plus an image of that word if that word is found to have a key property, such as it being a noun or an adjective. The extension saves all the most used words during a meeting into a JSON file. From there, we use jQuery to index all of the saved data and randomly output a series of flashcards. The user can select a language they would like to review the flashcards in, and when selected, a translation of the English word will be displayed on the flashcard with its associated image. Alongside that, the user can choose how many words they would like to review by changing the number of flashcards they would like using a slider bar. The flashcard functionality of the extension is developed in HTML5, CSS3 using Bootstrap, and JavaScript using jQuery. We built this. This is huge if it could actually be used in classrooms. This will change the academic and social trajectory of these students' lives. And we're not the only ones that think so. This is Dr. Stephen Wang, a professor in statistics in New York University. This will help them to adapt to a new environment quickly and excel in their studies. I think that this could also reduce the amount of mental stress caused by not being able to speak English fluently for K-3 grade 3 ESL students. This is from Chris Jim, a software engineer at Amazon. Tools like PictureBook are becoming increasingly important in assisting young children in their language learning studies. A proficiency in English is strongly correlated to higher income and economic opportunities. And a lack of proficiency in language can lead to drastic impacts on one's life. And if we ignore the problem, we will exacerbate the trauma faced by many children, as well as putting low-income students even further behind, eventually leading to an economic divide in later adult years. We emphasize inclusiveness and engagement within and outside of a classroom setting, offering that extra language aid through visuals. We will ensure that students develop the social and emotional skills critical to succeeding in life for building personal relationships and a sense of routine and engaging in after-school activities. If PictureBook were to be implemented, ESL students don't have to be pulled away from their class feeling isolated. The extension does not notify anyone else in the class the ESL student is using it. Eventually, we want to scale our platform to work beyond just ESL students. At PictureBook, the difficulty is personalized based on each individual student's level of proficiency in English. This means there are adjustment settings on how hard the words are for each person's set of cue cards, and quizzes can be generated based on the language used in class by the student's teachers and peers. In the future, we want to scale up Instead of just a Chrome extension, we want to expand to other platforms like Microsoft Teams and Zoom. And we are also currently developing an offline version of the program where students can go back and replay videos, pre-recorded lectures, and tutorials while getting the full benefits of PictureBook. And these are all essential tools that are necessary in order to expand the program to our students in higher grades. And in addition to software development, we aim to make the solution available globally after piloting North America. And PictureBook is designed to take into consideration the complex cultural stigma that ESL learners may experience. And these factors include gender inequalities, regional influences, and inequitable access to resources. And these factors are similar across the countries that we are targeting, such as Latin and South America and parts of Europe. Additionally, PictureBook is highly accessible as it's available for free on the Chrome Web Store and it can easily be implemented with any classrooms using Google Meets to teach. As students, we will not stop until we've developed personalized learning that impacts the world on a larger scale. And PictureBook brings students and teachers closer together through an online platform that helps to enhance communication and comprehension. I feel happy included within the classroom and confident in asking questions. And even though funding gets cut, I have the assistance of a free application that can be used independently in class. Although regular class goes fast sometimes, I can always go back and review new big words I don't know through the cue card function at my own pace. I am learning, empowered, and I will get quality education.